Hi. Hi. Okay. Thank you very that, much. That indeed. worked That's anyway. Great. Yeah. <laughs> great. Um, well, I've been looking at a couple of chapters in the book, um, Enjoy yeah. Life Forever. Um, I'm a bit stuck on lesson 15, if you're possible to help. Who is Jesus? 15. Lesson okay. 15 on page on, 63. I've got the book up. Let me go 15. Yeah. Section 2. It's a great book, isn't it? It's very interesting, but some of yeah. the claims made are a bit difficult to what I'm used to. Yeah, okay. So, thank you. <clears throat> so, fire away. Um, well, let's read section, um, let's read paragraph three, Where is Jesus Now, on page 63. Yeah. After Jesus' life as a human ended, he was resurrected as a spirit and he returned to heaven. There God exalted him to a superior position. Now Jesus has a position of great authority, second only to Jehovah himself. I agree that Jesus returned to heaven. And I agree that the Father exalted the Son, so I have no problem with those two comments. Yeah. But I, I can't accept that he was resurrected as a spirit. Right. I mean, the Bible says he rose up in the same body that he died in. Okay. He, he, he says in John ten seventeen he's going to lay down his life that he might Hang take on. it up again. It's fine, John ten seventeen. It's so much, yes, it's so much quicker, I think, just paper and ink. John ten seventeen. therefore my father loves me because I lay down my life that I may take it again. Okay. So he laid down his life and he took it up again. I, I mean, surely he rose in the same body that he died in. He said prophetically in John 2, um, I'm sure you're familiar with the verse in John 2, John 2, 19 to 22. Temple and body are singular there. Jesus Hang on, let's just, can, can we just look at that one in, in, in with Paul, John 10 first, John yeah, 10, sure. 17. Yeah. Uh, I surrender my life so I may receive it again. What, sorry, what did the version say that you read? I'm reading from the New King James. Therefore my father loves me because I lay down my life that I may take it again. Okay. Um, so I mean, I, I would, I must admit, I would read that as um, life is. Um, how would you define life? Life is being a, a sentient being, I suppose. Um, that's a very quick uh, idea of life. So that uh, Jesus, although he was a human um, when he was on the earth, when he went back to heaven he became a spirit but he was still alive in the same sense that he was when he was a human but i mean that's just just the way i would uh, would read that of course we need to um or the, you know, you know we, we'd need to sort of prove surely what we believe from from the bible i mean you would agree surely we need to be like the bereans we need to study the bible and and show that what we believe is actually taught in scripture because lots yeah. of people are running around saying they believe this that and the other i've spoken yeah. to seventh day adventists mormons christadelphians recently um they're very convinced about what they believe absolutely yeah i've been daft if you're not isn't it yeah yeah <laughs> yeah it's uh, you're, um, you're kind of sticking your neck out if you don't don't believe it then it would be uh, it would be ludicrous so I'm sure we're all, you know, we, we, we all kind of believe what mm. uh, what we do. It would be daft if we didn't. Mm. Well, uh, yeah, no, it, it's just that um, life, um, you know, life is the opposite of death, isn't it? I'm sure you agree with that. Death is non-existence and life is no. existence. No, so. I, no, I never, no, no, I do not agree with that. You need to prove that okay. from the Bible. You need to prove it. Okay. It's no good just saying it. If someone says to you, the moon is made of cheese... If they say that three times, it doesn't mean you have to accept the moon is made of cheese. Okay. If you make a statement, so you, need to, you need to prove it. Which bit did you not? Which bit did you not agree with what I said, Robert? Um, I think I said, I'm sure you agree that um, when you're dead, you're dead. Effectively, that death is non-existence. That may have been the bit that uh, you need to prove that. I, I don't accept that. Okay. Yeah. Um, in John. 
10.17, therefore my father loves me because I lay down my life that I may take it again. Um, angels can't cease to exist or die. We, we don't have any reference of angels dying. Death occurs to human beings who have human yeah. bodies. So yeah. as angels or God himself cannot die, surely yeah. this is a reference to Jesus's human to his humanity, to his human body. He lays yeah. down his life, i.e. his human life in a, in a human body, that he yeah. may take it up again. At least that's the way that I would see John 10, 17, you see. And so when, when, you, when it says, so I may receive it again or take it up again, are you saying that's a human body then? Yes, yes. I believe okay. that Christ died on the tree in his human body. He experienced right. death, which is the permanent separation of soul and spirit. Uh -huh. And then he says he's going to take it up again, where the body will be reanimated and, and reunited with his human soul or spirit. Right. So, so d d does that mean then that y y you're seeing Jesus as still having a human body now? Yes. Yes, I, I, I would understand that. I believe okay. that he, he, he prophesies of that in John 2, 19 to 22. Hang on, let me just go to that one. Yes, yeah, sure. Thank you. Thank you for your patience with me. <laughs> I've never heard that before, quite honestly. I've never heard what? The, the idea that um, Jesus maintained a human body, you know, when he was resurrected, effectively. In a, that's the standard... Oh, that's be been... careful, you might not have said that. What do you mean you've never assuming... heard that before? That's the standard teaching of the Catholic Church, every Protestant church, and Eastern Orthodox Church. It's the standard oh, right. teaching of Christianity for 2,000 years. It's like you saying you're amazed that soccer players kick a football. <laughs> I mean, I mean that Sorry. is the game of soccer. It's, it's kicking a game of. I didn't realize it, it's kicking a, a football. Uh, I mean, the goalie team. is allowed to pick up the the football, but the other ten players on each side they they kick a football. Right. I mean, if you, if you said you were amazed that soccer is about kicking a football, well, you know, if you're yeah, amazed okay. at that fact, yeah, I can't I... help you. Um, this is the standard teaching. I used to attend an evangelical church. I no longer yeah. attend. I, I, I stopped attending in 2010. Yeah. But this is the standard teaching of not just all Protestant churches, but Catholics and, and all Orthodox churches. That, that Jesus is still a human? Yes. Yeah. Well, I, I'm, 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 you know, obviously I'm pretty ignorant. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, I've listened to many, many, obviously we go and knock on people's doors, not at the moment because of COVID, but... We knock on people's doors, and I'd, I've never heard anybody express that uh, thought before. It's very interesting. Well, that's the stand. I'm interested in what Billy Bob does. I mean, most people whose doors you knock on don't know the first thing at all about the Christian church, even if they <laughs> happen to go to a, a church building yeah, that, themselves. That may well be, yeah, that may well be true. Maybe yes. it'd be better to, to sort of steer your attentions to what do the educated scholars believe. Yeah, yeah, well, that is interesting. Well, yeah, Rather well, than some old woman whose door you've, 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 so, you've knocked on. John, John 2 you were referring to. Yeah, uh, Robert, yeah. What was, which verse was that? It's verses 90 to 22. This is prophetic. These, Jesus Jesus looking forward to his death and resurrection. We yeah. know to talk about the resurrection in verse 22. He uses yeah. a synonym for his body, temple, which is a singular. And in verse 21, he explains that temple, singular, is his body and notice that that yeah. is also a singular yeah. so i'll read it jesus answered and said to them destroy this temple and in three days i will raise it singular up now the jews are going to totally misunderstand him in verse 20 they think he's talking about the the building in jerusalem then the jews said it has taken 46 years to build this temple and you will raise it up in three days verse 21 but he was speaking of the temple, singular, of his body, singular. Right. And body is soma. Robert Gundry did a, a study on the word soma in the New Testament. Every single time it's applied to human beings, yeah. it means a physical body. It's never, right. it's never applied to human beings, and, and it means a body of spirit. Unless you can show me a verse that, so says, it, that says that. It, what, 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 when it says that he was talking about the temple of his body... What are you saying his body means just there? His flesh and blood body. Flesh and blood, okay. Yeah, so he's saying that uh, destroy this temple, a synonym for his body in verse 19, meaning his death on the tree, 
and in three days I will raise it up again. Yeah. And then in verse 22, we find this is talking about the resurrection. Therefore, when he had risen from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this to them, and they believed yeah. the scripture and the word which Jesus had said. Yeah. Um, wouldn't this mean that Jesus is saying he's going to die a death, and three days later, after his death on the tree, he's going to be raised up again? I, I mean, am I correct in that? Um, I, I have to admit that uh, I can see that it is perfectly possible to, uh, to interpret it in, in, in that way, no doubt about yes. it. Thank you. Thank so you. I, I wouldn't, you know, I'm, I'm not, it, it would be ridiculous to, to argue with that because it would look as though you could interpret it to, in, in, in that particular way. I mean, uh, that's, that's how Christian scholars for 2,000 years have interpreted it. Right. Can you think of anyone who has a PhD in Greek who disagrees no, with that? I don't that? know much Greek. I do not know any Greekists. I will, um, uh, if, you, if, you, if you, I'll, I'll have a, do a bit of research on that if I may. Yes. Uh, and see what, I, I don't, I mean, I've not heard that interpreted that way before. Right. Now you're going to say it, again, but, uh, so if you leave that one with me, if I may, um, oh, yes. Robert, and just, yes, sure, uh, just have a look at that one, if yes, that's sure, all right. Sure, sure. Um, prophetically, um, that really is a prophecy, but we, we find that... Robert, looking... can you just excuse me one second? Sure. I have got a call on, on my other phone yep. now. Do you want me to call you back? Uh, just, uh, yeah, please, if you, you would. Just you give me...